Aloha everyone, welcome to my talk. My name is Kapehe, you can call me Cap for short. Today I will be speaking on how to build your portfolio, or if you can tell by the theme, how to grow your digital garden. So let me introduce myself real quick. My name is Cap, as I said. I do developer relations at sanity.io. What we do is we help manage your content for your websites. So if you have an e-commerce or a portfolio and you want your content managed, uh, we're a great place to go. Living in Las Vegas for about 10 years now and I love it here. I am also the proud mom to five animals. Let me introduce you to them real quick. So first we have Bella. If you have seen any of my videos on Twitter, you will see Bella is the star of the show. She is great in front of the camera and I got her a medal because she's just so good. Then we have Polly and Polly is part Siamese and the ultimate lap cat, the ultimate. Then we have Hilo, her green eyes match this theme so it's fantastic. Also, she's obsessed with treats. You crinkle the bag and she's running. And then we have Bonnie and Clyde. They are five month old bunnies that uh, I got from my sister and they love papaya. I just learned that they love dried papaya. It's actually pretty fun because I like papaya as well. So yeah, um, I wanted to get a couple of my social links for you guys before we moved on. So let me see. So here's my LinkedIn. Yeah, I know I wanted to do yeah LinkedIn for sure. So here's my LinkedIn, uh, linkedin.com slash in slash Um But yeah, that's where you can find me on LinkedIn. Let's see. Yeah, I didn't want to forget Twitter. Let's see. Right here. So here's my Twitter. Kapehe underscore okay. So you can find me here. My DMs are open. Always uh, willing to chat. Let's see what else I wanted to do. Oh, my YouTube channel. Yeah, I have that link up here. So here you can find my YouTube channel. Um, I don't have many videos out. I'm just starting. But yeah, I can be found here. And I know I had one more blog post. That's right. So I've written on a couple different blog posts. Uh, scotch.io being one. Um, I've run on dev.2, off zero, going to be writing on sanity. So I'm kind of all over in the blog world. So yeah, that's a couple of my social links. And I'm sorry, I, I wish I could like send you guys a link that had all of them in one spot. That's an idea. Why not put all my content in one place? Hmm like a portfolio. So yeah, why not put all my content in one place? And when we do it all, when we put it all in one place, we get to prune that content, we get to update it and grow it. And let's say there's a blog post that we really liked or a YouTube video that we just created that we're super stoked on. We can put that on the front page. Like we can make that the star of the show and put a little more sunshine on it. So you can also grow it to be however you see fit. So that's like the really great thing about a portfolio. There are many things when creating your garden of content. Um, a portfolio can be handy in all stages of your career. So if you are looking for a job and you really want to showcase all your content, a portfolio is a really great option. So it will help you show your strengths. It can help you get noticed. It can get all your content out there and really showcase you and who you are. And so that leads me to my next slide of, do I even need a resume then? So yes, jobs will be asking for a resume. And the great thing about today is resumes can have clickable links because a, a lot of them are digital. So make sure you link to your portfolio. But a resume is generally one page, so it can be very limiting. Um, so imagine you have your garden and it's your full portfolio and your resume is the salad, okay? And it's made with all the contents from your garden. So you have your romaine, you have your cherry tomatoes, you have, maybe you, you were growing carrots and you wanna have shredded carrots on your salad. So it's a nice small mix of everything, but it's not the entire garden. So we want to make sure we navigate to that full garden. So definitely have that resume and recognize the strength that a portfolio can add to that. So I have a resume, I also have a portfolio, I keep both pruned um, and both have growing content, but I can't fit all of my content on one page, nor do I want to, because if I do that, it can get really crammed, it can get really busy, and 
some things might be looked over that I really want to be front and center. So I always guide people to my portfolio and allow them to navigate there. So today we are going to be talking also about building your own portfolio. So there are different ways in where you can start to build. Um, let me show you a couple of those. Don't get overwhelmed. I know there are a lot of options, but the best place to start is to just start growing. I mean, it may be small, it may be not everything, but that's okay. As long as you're starting, that's awesome. So there are a couple of platforms like Squarespace or Wix where there's a template and it makes it really easy for you to get started and just have all your content. Another way is if you have um, a tech stack that you want to work with and you have a content management system that you want to use on the back end or whatever it may be, however you may want to build it and you don't want to use a template, this is a great way to start as well. So my portfolio, and I haven't shown you yet, I got to show you. So my portfolio is built with React, Sanity, and Netlify. So the front end is React, the back end and what manages my content is Sanity, and it's all hosted on Netlify. So let me show you my portfolio. So here, kapehe.io is where you can find my portfolio. So just a quick navigation. We have blog posts, YouTube, about me, my Twitter, my YouTube, and my LinkedIn. So all of it can be found here. I'm still growing it. Uh, not all my content's here, but I'm still growing it. And that's the joy of all this because it's continually growing. Here I have my blog post. I have my YouTube videos that you can click into. And I have an about page where you can just learn a couple of things about, about me. So for my portfolio, I have all my content managed on a Sanity Studio. Let me show you how that works. So here, if I go into my Sanity Studio, so I have this already hosted, so I can come in here whenever I need and whenever I need to prune or grow my content. So let's prune it a little bit. Let's go to a post. Let's go to upcoming conference talks. So because I'm talking at a conference right now, let's remove one of them. So I'm gonna click into here and I'm gonna remove React Live because it's happened. Let's publish that. Cool, so now this document is published. If I go back to my portfolio, let's give it a quick refresh just in case, go to my blog post, click on upcoming conference talks because that's the one I edited. And you'll see here that the one that I deleted, the React Live is gone. So it's very quick for me to prune my content and um, just make sure everything's up to date. But let's see how quickly I can grow my content. So let's add a YouTube video. Let's go back to my YouTube channel. And let's click on, we'll click on this one, pause it, because we don't need. I'm gonna copy that URL, come back, click on this plus sign so I can add a new thing. I already have this YouTube video in here, but for demonstration purposes, let's just create a new one. Um, let's see, let's title it, my newest YouTube video. Uh, let's create a slug for it, newest YouTube video. Oh, let's go take a quick screenshot. And you can do any image you want. And upload that. Awesome. Okay, so my image is in there. And then I'll say, this is, this is my newest YouTube video. I hope you like it. And then old fashioned smiley face. <laughs> then let's insert a YouTube. We'll do a newest YouTube video. And then we'll put in the URL. There it is. And we'll publish it. Okay. Let's go check it out. Let's see if we grew our garden. So under my YouTube, 
give it a quick refresh. Ah, there it is. <laughs> so yeah, so very quickly I was able to add in content that I created. Um, I don't have to mess around with much code and having it all managed on the studio makes it really easy for me. So that's how I do mine. But of course, anybody, you can do however you want. But this is how my uh, tech stack is. Front end is React, back end and content management is Sanity and Netlify, it's hosted all on, Net, all on Netlify. So yeah, I hope you like it, I like it. So when creating your own portfolio, there's a lot of content that can go in there. Let me just go through a list of ideas of things that you can put in there. First one is blog posts. So whether you have put a blog post on another blog or you have written your own original content, it is a great idea to have blog posts and linking maybe to the other blogs, whatever it may be, um, but definitely have that content on there. Next is projects. So let's say you did a hackathon and the project you did is out of this world. So you wanna put it on your portfolio. Uh, you could put that here. Uh, you could also, if you attended a boot camp, you could put your projects here. If you do client work and you're able to share, definitely put in your portfolio because that's awesome. Also, it's really important to maybe link to your GitHub so that people can see the code if it's open and they can learn from the code and learn from the projects. Next is courses. So if you do free or paid courses, awesome to put it in your portfolio. Podcast. So I put podcast here, but really it's any presence online. So maybe you have um, a Twitch account or maybe you were a guest on another Twitch account or you do your own podcast or you were a guest on another podcast. So anywhere you have like a link to share and you want to share it, uh, definitely put that in. YouTube videos and slash channel. I did video slash channel because you may not have your own channel, but you are in a YouTube video on someone else's channel or you do have your own channel and you put that content there as well. So yeah, that's another idea. An about page. So an about page can be really fun. It can have a headshot. It can have a fun fact about you. It could have maybe some goals you have. So on my about page, I have, I'll show you. On my about page, I have what I do, where I work, where I live. Also the five animal thing working out and watching anime. That's like my fun fact. I really like anime. So it's just kind of like a little fun thing that you can add to your page and yeah. Social links, the way I did social links are these little dots up here and you click on one and it will take you directly to my Twitter. So important to have that. It's kind of creating that web of connectivity so that it's easy to find you or it's easy to get in touch with you. Next is email. So email, you can either provide your email or you can have one of those email boxes where they input their email and you reach out to them. So that's a way for email. Testimonials. So if you have, let's say you have a course or you have YouTube videos and somebody learned from your course the best way to do X, Y, Z and it's just like the coolest testimonial Put that kind of stuff on there. That's awesome. So here is my rainbow list of ideas to put into your portfolio. This is really cool to have all this content in one spot because looking at this list, all these could be all over the web. And by bringing them all into one main hub, your portfolio, your garden, this allows for people to not be chasing you around or maybe missing content that they wouldn't find normally. Um, I really appreciate YouTube and being able to have my YouTube videos on my own portfolio is really powerful to me because now I own that content and it's on my portfolio. So it's really awesome to have that, that power when it's your own. So next, let's talk about pruning and growing your digital garden. So with the digital garden, you have that feeling of owning your content. It may be on YouTube, but if it's on your portfolio as well, you kind of own it a little more. So we can grow our content, we can prune it, we can give some content pieces, maybe a little more sunshine, like I said earlier. Like you have a new course coming out 
and you want everyone to see it. So whenever they visit your page, it's front and center. So that's really awesome. Some ideas for pruning your garden would be old, outdated content. So like, for example, conference talks. I had a blog post on conference talks that I was giving. Once the conference was given, I should go and prune that content and take that conference uh, off of that blog post because it's not upcoming anymore. Um, also, social links. If you have any social links that have been updated or changed, that would be an awesome one. Maybe you are looking. For, maybe you were looking for a job, and you found one. Now you can take down the banner that you maybe put up that said "looking for my next gig" or whatever it may be. Um, maybe you got a new headshot and you want to prune your old headshot and put your newest one up. Ways for growing your content would be any new content you have created. YouTube, blog post, Twitch stream, whatever it may be. New testimonial that was added, add that in, cool. Um, a way that I have found that I like to prune and grow my garden is the design because uh, I always like different designs. And so I'll go in and I will update my font. It took me forever to find the font that I have. Let me show you again. Um, here it is. Kind of took me forever to find this font. But once I found it, I was super pumped. And I also uh, didn't hold off on putting out my portfolio because of this font. I had the font in. Then I found my dream font, came back, and I pruned my portfolio. So yeah. Yeah. Those are just some ways to prune and grow your content. Um, now, So now that we have our portfolio and we're growing it and we're pruning it, we want to keep it fresh and keep the weeds and the bugs out. Now that we have our portfolio, it's growing, it's being pruned, how do I get my portfolio in front of the right people? It's a big question because you want the right people to see it, especially if you're looking for a job. So who to send it to? Potential future teams. This is really important to put it on your resume. Also important for maybe LinkedIn. You have it linked from your LinkedIn. Um, but yeah, make sure it gets in front of their eyes so that they can see all your content and not just that little resume or that um, LinkedIn homepage. They wanna make sure to see all your stuff and then allow them to kind of see your personality and your content. Next one, Twitter. So tweet about your new portfolio. There's no shame in tweeting about your stuff. This is great. If you built your portfolio, I want to see it. So tweet that out. Show. Um, oh, and a really cool thing is if you have your content, you can tweet like, oh, latest YouTube video out. You can put the link and send them straight to your portfolio rather than YouTube. And then they can see all your other content. So that's kind of cool. So definitely tweet about it. Family and friends. Okay. They may not um, be into coding or design or whatever it may, whatever content may be in your portfolio. But my mom is my biggest fan. So she definitely wants to see my portfolio. Even though she um, won't be reading the blog post. I know she's not. I know you're not, mom. Um, she's my biggest fan. And so I definitely want to send it out to her. Learning devs this is like my favorite one because our content on our portfolio is a garden of learning for others. So it's awesome to send them here. If you link to your GitHub, they can link to your, they can go see your code. They can read your blog posts. They can watch your videos. And that's just awesome. Just creating that like web of learning. I just love it. And then the last one is SEO. So SEO is awesome. There is a really cool, because if we do good SEO, then we send it to Google and that sends it to everyone. So we want to make sure our SEO score is really good. A really awesome source that I have, or a resource that I've used in the past is clearscope.io. What you do is, let's say you have a blog post, you paste in your words from your blog and it will give you a grade on how the SEO impact is. And it will tell you to add certain words, certain keywords so that it can go up higher in the Google search. So that's really awesome. Then it gets in front of everyone's eyes. All right, so I wanted to play a little game. Um, we're gonna pretend like we are the recruiter and we have three portfolios to go through 
and it's kind of the end of our day, so we don't have much time. But I also am showcasing some of my favorite portfolios out there. Um, but we're just going to spend a little bit of time and see what is impactful and what catches our eye and what um, what we gather from the portfolio. So the job that we're trying to fill is developer relations. And yeah, so I've pulled up three portfolios that I really look up to. Gift, she is, so we're looking for uh, developer relations. So let's see. She's a front end engineer, awesome. And technical writer, awesome. Is there a link to her technical writing? Yes, we can go look at all of her articles. Ooh, she's written 51, well, here on her portfolio, there's 51 articles. That's a ton. So that means she's all over the web and she has speaking engagements, upcoming, awesome, and past talks. So she seems very qualified for this job. Do I wanna um, get in contact with her? Yes, so let's see. Makes it really easy for me to get in touch, say hello, awesome. Also, her GitHub and her resume is down here. So that's really cool. There's a lot of really fun animations going on here. I really like these lines that come up and really great portfolio. Next one, we're gonna look at Cassie Codes. Let's see, so really awesome animations when I go over these words. That's super fun. So really good UI. There's a toggle. Ooh, that was fun. <laughs> There's a toggle. Ooh, to teal. I like teal. That just flickered. Super fun animations. We scroll down here. She's in. She does writing, so that's really awesome. Visit my blog, but look how she put three of her favorite ones up front so that we can kind of go to those or we can visit the whole blog. Awesome way to navigate around. Speaking engagements. Check out my videos and upcoming talks. So she's definitely qualified for the developer relations role. Also, here's her list of talks. Ooh, ooh, that's fun. And then it follows the mouse. That's amazing. Really great UI. Good job, Cassie. And then our last one, we have Sarah Drasner's website. Now, the really cool thing that I've noticed about all these websites is this impact, this power that I'm getting from all these, you can't find on a resume. This is only done in this in these portfolios. So I, oh, that's really cool. So I make things and I break things. That's cool. Uh, reading or reading, writing, all of her technical writing definitely has a lot of content. So definitely qualified for the job that we're looking for. And then speaking, ton of conferences this is fantastic. And it links to each one. That's really awesome. Oh, front end master. So that's super fun because she links to her courses. So view design for developers. Great. This is really great. So it really shows her personality. All three of these show a lot of their personality and their strengths. So that's like the really awesome thing about portfolios is you make it you. <laughs> That's the most important thing. So like there's beautiful portfolios all over the place and awesome features, cool animations. But in the end, we need to make it the most beautiful representation of you. So however that is, we can great, we can um, gather tons of cool ideas. Um, but in the end, it's got to be about what you are and make you glow and grow. My portfolio is I did the intro page as the uh, the monstera leaf because the monstera leaf is my favorite leaf. I even have a necklace, a monstera leaf necklace. But I just, that's me. I love that. So I wanted to put it on my homepage. All right. So where do I begin? I get it. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of content to think about. Am I making sure that my font's right? No, don't worry about that. Um, that can slow you down and we don't want to be slowed down. We don't have time for that. So make sure that wherever you decide to put your content, just begin, take that leap, grow that, plant that first seed, water it, put fertilizer on it, do what you need to do, but get your content growing somewhere. But remember it is a garden. So it is always growing. It is always needing to be pruned. And that's the beautiful thing about it. So how to find me you can go straight to my portfolio, as I've shown you. 
here's a bunch of links, but you don't need that if you have the first one, you know? Um, so yeah, kapehe.io is my portfolio and I will be growing and pruning that thing for years to come. And if you have your portfolio or you're starting it or you're going to start it, send it my way. I would love to see it. And yeah, happy gardening. Mahalo, everyone.